AP, Bangkok, in light post-Christmas holiday trade on Monday in Asia, where many markets were closed, shares increased. The Kospi in Seoul increased by 0.2% to 2,318.54 while the Nikkei 225 index in Tokyo increased by 0.6% to 26,393.32. The set in Bangkok increased 0.6% and the Shanghai Composite Index increased 0.5% to 3,061.93. Haruhiko Kuroda, Governor of the Bank of Japan said in a widely viewed speech on Monday that the central bank does not intend to change its long-standing monetary easing policy in order to deal with pressures from inflation on the third largest economy in the world. The Japanese yen has fallen significantly in value relative to the US dollar and other major currencies as a result of the increasing interest rate differential between Japan and other nations, which has also increased the cost of many imported goods and commodities. But because to the possibility of a recession, the BOJ has maintained its benchmark lending rate at minus 0.1%. As economies are likely to experience downward pressure in Japan's economy has not yet fully recovered from the effects of the pandemic, Kuroda stated to the Kadanrin, the nation's most influential business group, that the BOJ deems it necessary to conduct monetary easing and thereby firmly support the economy. The tech-heavy Nasdaq grew by 0.2% to 10,497.86 while the Dow Jones Industrial Average increased by 0.5% to 33,203.93. Small company stocks increased as well. To reach 1,760.93, the Russell 2000 Index increased by 0.4%. Mixed economic news initially hurt equities, but by late afternoon, the indices had recovered amid comparatively little trade ahead of the long holiday weekend. Markets in the US and Europe will be closed on Monday. Markets are in a difficult position as relatively strong consumer spending and a robust job market lessen the likelihood of a recession but also increase the danger of higher interest rates from the Federal Reserve as it intensifies its fight against inflation. The major U.S. economic updates from last week were the last ones for the year. Investors' attention will soon shift to the upcoming wave of corporate earnings. Even though the rate of price increases has continued to slow, the Fed has stated that it will raise interest rates in order to control inflation. After starting the year at a historic low of practically zero, the Fed's benchmark overnight rate is now at its highest level in 15 years. The federal funds rate, which is the primary lending rate, is currently in the range of 4.25% to 4.5%, and Fed experts predict that it will increase to a range of 5% to 5.25% by the end of 2023. Since the Fed doesn't anticipate cutting rates until 2024, the higher rates have stoked worries that the economy could stagnate and enter a recession in 2023. High rates have had a significant impact on stock pricing as well as other investment costs. In currency exchange, the American dollar dropped from 132.82 Japanese yen late Friday to 132.62 yen. The euro increased from $1.0614 to $1.0629.